and entering the earth, I support all beings by my vital energy, and becoming the sapful soma, moon, I nourish all herbs or plants. The word ja is used meaning and. The word gam comes from the word go. The word go can have many different meanings, and one of the meanings is the earth. Therefore, gam means the earth, and avishya means entering, and is of locative inflection in Sanskrit grammar. Sri Krishna says that he enters the earth and supports all beings with his splendor, his power and his vital energy. What we all what sorry, we are all, we are on the earth. God says that he enters the earth and supports all beings with his vital energy. The word ja is used again and Sri Krishna says that becoming the Sapphire Soma moon, that is nectar, he nourishes all herbs or plants. The Supreme Soul says that he gives birth to all beings and plants and that he supports all of these. Not only that, but, not only that, but by becoming the moon, he nourishes all herbs or plants. Our Puranas and our scriptures have the vision and it's not just a vision but a reality that when herbs and plants grow, then they grow through the rays of the moon. The nectar inside herbs and plants the peace inside herbs and plants, and the pleasure inside herbs and plants is of the moon. We all know scientifically that the presence of the sun is necessary, but if there is anything special in herbs and plants, then this is because of the moon. The moon gives herbs and plants nourishment. God says that he becomes the moon and nourishes all herbs and plants. He grows them and he nourishes them. He gives birth to human beings and he supports all human beings. Now what happens to the herbs and plants that human beings consume? This is explained in the next verse. <laughs>